Okay, folks, back to the scope. Um, yeah, this one's probably going to go on for a while, <laughs> but the fault seems pretty obvious. Um, it's just uh, not that logical. Anyway, just a bit of an update. I've replaced all the electrolytics on this particular board, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, which was a bit of a pain, to be honest. And without having the really thin, um, without having the old Metcal soldering iron here, I would have made a huge mess. So, worth the investment, I'd say, for that. Worst of all, underneath here, there are two electrolytics mounted on the uh, connectors, which effectively form the backplane here. And so I had to take this strut out to get at it. I didn't video it because I knew it was going to be... Uh, how can I put it? That there would be a number of expletives along the way, and sure enough there were. <laughs> so, uh, but I got it done. And so, peace of mind, all the electrolytics are replaced. Um, the other thing I've done is I've uh, made copies of the uh, relevant drawings because the, uh, the manual I had was starting to get all torn and I thought, I don't know how long I'm going to be messing with this thing, so I better make copies of this documentation before I get going. Um, so, uh, I'm going to try and show you guys where I'm at with this thing. And uh, those of you who are experts on all things to do with, uh, with transistors can chime in here and uh, uh, help me out. <laughs> so the uh, signal comes in here from the input attenuators, goes through various stages of uh, differential amplification, and uh, it leaves these pair here, and, and the feed from here splits off into two. So you have one pair that goes out here, like that, and those two end up going up here and going off the board to the line delay and off to the uh, other amplifiers and CRT and whatever and that all works fine. Um, so as well as going off here it also goes off here and its counterpart comes off here down at the bottom and these two guys combine here and then this is the actual amplifier itself for the triggering output being over here. The scenario I have is I have a good differential signal all the way up to here. And we know it's good because it goes off out there and that bit works. And on this side of this resistor I have a signal which I'll show you. On the other side of it, nothing. Likewise down here, I get a good signal here. All the size of this resistor, nothing. And on the good side of these resistors, that's just to show you there are the two differential signals uh, being coming out from the previous stage. And uh, needless to say, these resistors check OK. <laughs> so, it is something to do with how all this lot here works. Now I've checked all voltages, obviously. The only one that's weird is this guy right here, which says it's plus 17 volts. And it it only shows up here and on the other channel. And I can't yet find the source of that 15 volts. It actually measures closer to 15. And so that might be problematic in biasing these couple of guys right here. Um, and there's no 17 volts comes directly out of the power supply. Um, there's no 17 volts over here on the list of uh, supplies coming in on the uh, connector. So the damn thing is de derived somewhere and I gotta figure that out. So that's where it's at. We're good all the way up to here. And then for some reason, right at the end of this, it's all quiet. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Um, and you would have thought, so uh, 
Now, of course, I've checked both these transistors in the past, but I'll take them out and check them again. Um, because something definitely doesn't make sense here. Now, I'll admit I am not very familiar with how these things are configured here. Because the uh, it just appears that the input, the drive, is coming into the emitter. The two bases are connected together and statically held at a fixed voltage. And then you have the collector here is has a 30 volt rail dropped onto that collector. And if we go all the way down from this uh, emitter here, whoops, sorry, from the collector, this one goes through a dimension, potential divider down to a plus 60 volt supply. Um, so yeah, if any of you guys have any great theories on what might be screwed up here, um, that'd be really cool. <laughs> feel free to comment because <laughs> uh, yeah at the moment uh, my next plan I think is I'm going to take these guys out again and I might just try and replace them with some either actuals or equivalents um, obviously check all the components around them but these two guys here were the guys that had been overheated in the past even though their values were okay um, I replaced them anyway um, so yeah, that's kind of where I'm bogged down at the moment, guys. Okay, guys, well, this is, uh, it's not going to make it easy for me, because, uh, so these are the two, you can see here that I've uh, colored in the lines that are working, going off out uh, to the line delay and so on. And so I'm assuming that these two guys here, uh, how the alternative takeoff feed uh, gets in here to the um, to the trigger amplifier. Um, so on the drawing, as you probably can't, you may not be able to see it here, but this transistor, they're both NPNs. This one is a 2N5179. This one is a BF357K. Um, I looked up the specs. The specs on this are much higher than the specs on this in general. And in the actual scope, both of these transistors are BF357K. Um, so, since I have signal up to this side of this resistor and nothing on the other side, I thought just for fun I'll take these two transistors out and see what happens then. So I took those two transistors out. And then nothing works. You lose this as well. You lose the uh, previously working signals as well. And so obviously these rails here coming through these transistors are part of the bias arrangement for these guys as well. Um, and so by removing that link here, um, everything w I lost everything. <laughs> so... Um, these guys, the BF357K, when I stick it in my transistor tester, it doesn't show up like a regular transistor. It shows up as a, as all the uh, junctions seem to work, but there's also a diode between the collector and emitter. Um, so I don't think that's right. So I think the next thing to do would be replace um, these two transistors right here. And see if that makes a difference. Uh, so I'll have to see if I can find BF357K or equivalent and pop a pair of them in here instead of what's in there and uh, see where we go from there. Um, given that these two guys down here cooked rather badly it wouldn't surprise me. I mean this was my main candidate but when I first took this out and put it through my old transistor tester it seemed like it was okay but now I got this super duper new one um, it, it shows up with this weird scenario of having a diode gone from collector to emitter. Um, both of them uh, do. Uh, so, just to make sure it wasn't a transistor tester, I got a whole bunch of transistors out of my stash and none of them showed a behavior, so I suspect these guys might be dodgy. Any case, resistors are all uh, test fine, so I can't think of what else to do really. Um, the other thing I have to do is this plus 17 volts. It doesn't come from the power supply, so it must be derived somewhere locally on the board, probably from the uh, the plus 30 volts or something like that. Uh, 
but there's no reference to it anywhere on any of the documentation. And so I'm going to have to try and um, trace that out, I think, at some point, which is going to be fun. Because it only seems to figure in this bias arrangement between these two transistors here and in the other channel. I can see reference to plus 17 volts anywhere else. Um, and so this 17 volts would at the moment seem to be one little item that's common to both channels. Um, but yeah, I'm I just not sure whether the thing being 2 volts low is critical here or not. So something I gotta check out and so I'll go order up some find some equivalents for these guys I probably won't be able to find the actual ones uh, and then go from there so not sure how long it'll be before the next update but uh, I'll let you guys know once I've replaced these guys here and maybe found out where the 17 volts come from more to come